people who love the Beatles or the Rolling Stones or all the old groups were going, well, I'm just going to take those influences and make them a gospel-centric message, but we're, musically we're paying respect and homage to the forms that we all were all brought up with. That back then, if you were in LA and, and you were in that community, you ended up, everybody ended up playing or arranging or doing something with each other. And I think what was happening in the early Jesus movement, it wasn't just me, it was a few people uh, that were kind of uh, thinking very much outside the box. This was born out of an actual movement of a spiritual awakening. So it's not about just the music, it's about what happened to me through the music and through my relationship with the Father. It was very profound. And it was giving form to people who just lived like drugs, sex, anything goes. And they knew that that was bankrupt, but they didn't know what they needed. And it was this Jesus movement that was taking order and making chaos into order in a really cool way. I think the one thing that is evident in everybody that's going out is they still feel the same way as they did about what they were doing back then. And I really hope that the people who come to see us will bring the younger generation to witness this because there's a calm and there's a maturity that I think is really very important to impart here. And that's what abides in every one of these people. They still honor and respect the gifts that they were given by God and they will use it for His glory. And that's what the main thing is in everybody.